Come on, keep clapping. Build some warmth. See, all the married folk all cuddled up. <laughs> Amen. You know what this reminds me of? Riding around with Crystal. <laughs> You're loving it, aren't you? Look at the Crystal like, what's the problem? <laughs> she about destroyed us. Uh, Proverbs chapter 6. Uh, this has been a, and we're going to deal with it, uh, this is a, was a tremendous, Tremendous week of warfare. And you know what started it? This is a, it's just my neat that the, the year is closing out with intensive warfare. Got some casualties. Amen. Um, but what caused it, Simona, what activates. onslaughts from the enemy is prayer. Since we initiated this 7 o'clock prayer, yeah. Yeah. people being exposed, people are in no prayer life. No prayer life. Can't make it. Okay? Prayer is what brought the heat. Okay? All right, prayer, prayer, effectual, fervent prayer. Amen. Uh, write this down. Some of your stock is going to rise because of your prayer. All right. Mm -hmm. Your prayer. Mm -hmm. Your prayer. All right. It's because of your prayer life you're going to learn how to deal with discord source. Right. Okay. Discord sores are individuals who do not pray. Uh, uh, even when they pray and fast, it's always about somebody else. It's never them. Hmm. Never. And I will show you. Okay? Your prayer life. Your prayer life. So your prayer life will help you to filter out discord sores. Your prayer life will also cause blessings for every attack of the enemy God turns around and blesses you greater amen right. I'll say it again with every attack so it's your prayer life huh? so my neek when Satan came after uh, Jane Yale, you know what I told her? Teach on Tuesday, fighting back. That's right. Don't sit there and take no whipping, huh? Yeah. It's your prayer life. Your prayer life, huh? Your prayer life. Your prayer life is everything. The effectual, fervent prayer. I'll show you at 10 o'clock because you have three various forces coming at you every day. Okay? Let's talk about discord sowers because one of my, my uh, and she, she summed it up. Anytime you put people where God is, you're going to crash. Amen. Okay. Time you put people. And yet, I sent the right person to try to rebuild. My daughter destroyed her brand. One post, destroyed, it's gone. Okay? So I sent the right person to rebuild it. Yeah. I didn't say forever, but it's destroyed. I told her to get off Facebook. Okay? You, anytime you post more than you pray, you can't do that. Yes. And it comes from abandonment, childhood, and I told you, Facebook is the father that left you. All right? Anytime you have people where God should be, you're going to crash. So I sent the right person who's climbing, climbing 
because of their prayer life. Amen. Uh, with no prayer life, discourse sores flock to you. Uh, and discourse sores seem like activists, but they come to destroy you. Exactly. Amen. I can tell you what they talk about. I can mm -hmm. tell you, you know. And, and uh, see, here, here's what you have to understand. I have to teach it before I put them out. <laughs> I'm just for people in ministry. You don't put people out if you ain't taught it. Right. Then it boomerangs back on me. Okay? But once I teach it, then I get to put them out. Right? You got to understand ministry. It's a serious. Discourse sower. The discourse sower is the worst person in the church. Yes. Over the adulterer and the fornicator. Because mm. they do that stuff to themselves. Okay? So I got to teach it first. You ever understand that? Man. Do not. Okay, go to your, your children. You don't correct your child. You don't discipline your child and you didn't teach them. Okay? So same thing in the house of God. Uh, discourse sowers are very dangerous. Right? Because Proverbs chapter 6. So much. My son, if thou be surety for thy friend, if thou hast stricken thy hand with a stranger, thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. Thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. Okay, pick it up in verse 12. A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a forward mouth. Forward mouth. Okay, read. He winketh with his eyes. He speaketh with his feet. He teacheth with his fingers. Forward, forwardness is in his heart. He deviseth mischief continually. He soweth discord. Soweth discord. Okay, now write this word down. M-E-D-A-N. That's the word for discord. So of discord. <clears throat> there cannot be any time you have a group of unhappy wives, somebody's sowing discord. Okay? Sowing discord. Yeah. Uh, do we have immature men who run home and play video games instead of tending their children? Yes, we do. But like I told one who blew up my phone, first of all, this is what happens when you come in Tuesday, but you sit here, but you don't listen. So I put Tuesday night 101. Why are you addressing the person and keep giving me an update on their annex instead of addressing the spirit? You address the spirit on them. Yeah. Not the antics. I don't need no play by play. Address the spirit. Okay? Because if you always bring my name up, you make me the bad guy. That spirit on them don't care if you tell me. <laughs> it's a spirit. Uh -huh. Oh, man, it's a, it's a spirit. Can't you tell me? You got to make me look like the bad guy. Okay? You dress, there is a spirit that tries to separate. I'm going to blow your mind. A husband against wife, wife against husband. I found out in, areas in, in uh, Dallas that a childhood friend married to a bishop. Been I think they've been married longer than uh, my wife and I. She filed for a divorce this year. After 34, almost 40 years of marriage, I went to school with her. Okay? What's Satan care? Somebody, something got into that church. It might be him, might be a one, whatever it is. Uh, but I tell you who feuded discord source. 
okay? This court is ours. Wow. Discord, look at verse 16, no, uh, 15. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. A discord source calamity is just going to hit them. They don't get an advance warning. Mm -hmm. Just like they poison somebody without advance warning, their destruction comes without an advance warning. All right. Okay. You got to watch people who don't get along with nobody. Amen. Uh, I put a person out simply for the fact they're wrong out here evil. Like I tell somebody, you got an evil husband, evil wife. I'm going to tell you one time, I ain't coming home with you. You don't have to put up with that mess. I'm talking about everybody have bad days. I'm talking about just evil. <laughs> uh, no, I'm telling somebody, I ain't coming home with you. It's your call. All you do is tell me. I'm not playing. That's crazy. Some old bipolar spirit hit me up in Dallas. I had some out. I'm just trying to go to Dallas, chill in my place, enjoy Zoe. Oh my goodness. Every day. No bipolar spirit first. They try to act like they want the forgiveness. All right, well, I can't jeopardize myself. <laughs> if they want forgiveness and I don't forgive them, now I'm in trouble. Right. <laughs> right. right. So they hit me up, all right. Yeah. Try to put my son involved. Come on, all right. My son said, look, you want to holler at my father? You gotta go through this message. So here they come. Hosanna. Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you call me? I ain't calling you. <clears throat> it ain't that deep. I just got to handle my part. Amen. You want forgiveness? All right. The little synopsis, we done with it. I didn't say we was going to be two toes in a sock. Right. I'm just saying it's cool. You know, I ain't trying to block my stuff. Right. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't trying to block my stuff. Yeah. 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 Baby face, I'm got the cool in me, all right? Uh, <laughs> Five hours later, one good thing I did learn, because you know, I'm not up on all these phones, you know. I get, a, uh, I get an iPhone 6 when the 12 come out. <laughs> but I do know you can see part of a message. Part of it. Well, I saw part of the message talking about, you know, uh, you were wrong. You, you did something. Oh, well, pff. five hours later. <laughs> Because one of my members was praying. I called one of my members. And one of my members got to praying on that bipolar spirit to reveal itself. Well, their prayer got answered. <laughs> Five hours later, here they come back. Back in form. Just trying to get close. Hmm. So now they got to wait for calamity. Suddenly shall be broken without remedy. Is that, am I in the Bible? It's in the Bible. Look at verse 16. If I saw in Discord, you get on God's hate list. <laughs> you watch people come to you. I mean, I'm, I'm going to break down what they get. Man, I'm trying not to get ahead of myself. Read 16 real slow. These six things that the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look. Okay, now why, why, this, why, why it's fresh in my mind. A discourse sower always comes with these punches. They always talk about their past injuries. Hmm. Their past injuries. Well, someone in the church did to them. Okay. Their present suspicions. <laughs> past injuries, present suspicions. Okay, and future insecurities, past injuries, present suspicions, and future insecurities. What are they going to talk about? It's because 
daydreon, they are propelled by inner turmoil. They must have conflict. That's right. Yeah. There you go. They must have conflict. All right. I will show you how to deal with them for ministry's sake so that God don't hate you. Right. Hmm. Hello. Okay. Not me. You know I mean? I chuck deuces. I keep it moving. Yay. Seven are an abominable nation unto him. Uh, a proud look don't mean you wash your behind. You're supposed to do that. <laughs> proud look mean uh, well you wash your behind. <laughs> proud look means you have an arrogance. Not the arrogance of purpose but an arrogance I don't need God. Okay? Self-sufficient without God. Proud look read a lying tongue. Read. And hands that shed innocent blood. Read. And heart that devises wicked imaginations. Feet that be swift and running to mischief. A <laughs> a Read. A false witness that speaketh lies. And he that soweth discord among brethren. Okay. What, what, so when you don't have a prayer life, so you can have discernment of spirit, you could be on the brink, on the cusp of a breakthrough, and here come a discourse yes, yes. Okay, here they come. You see this? You see that? Uh huh. Yeah. And man, they coming. You know, everybody. They, people. <laughs> I tell all my secrets. I tell a couple of. Them. You can't come to me talking about you've been fasting and praying. <laughs> I mean, how can I say this nice? Don't uh, say it. <clears throat> this don't that don't impress me. Mm -hmm. Don't you fasting and praying? You talking about you fasting and praying for me? I don't. I don't. I, my heart don't skip a beat. I don't flutter. That don't mean nothing to me. Okay? It's how you treat people, how you get along with people, and do you respect leadership. Do you have a sensitivity in other men's failures? Are you looking at it as an opportunity? To shine. Uh, when, 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 when TQ posted that out of her emotions and just destroyed all her work, just gone. Got falling. My, my, my daughter was sincerely hurt. One word killed her brain. Got rebuilt it. Amen. She learned something. Part of it's her husband's fault. He's sitting right there listening to me. But all these other people that come in, <laughs> who, 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 who fostered a jealousy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you down, you say something crazy and I like it. There was a jealousy yeah. that I didn't want you to get up. I didn't want you to separate from me. I want turmoil and I want conflict. And yeah, and they did me the same way. Oh, Satan, I rebuke you. But somebody said, uh uh, you come too far. You were being blessed. You hurt me. Start saying, right, you tripping. Quit tripping and get back to being blessed. Amen. 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 You know, if an F bomber in the mayor, it'll end a, 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 a business. But we're going to rebuild. Not on Facebook. Amen. Amen. 
she ain't the only one. You don't have enough prayer to post. You don't have enough prayer life to post nothing. <laughs> but somehow we're genuinely hurt. No! That's right. That's right. No. Mm -hmm. So I can't, you know me. I keep those are not me black jackets I got. I give you a count. No, I won't. <laughs> I'm like, no, I ain't, we ain't having no mass prayer. I'm like one person. Build her up. Be an enema. That's right. That's right. Be that enema. Yeah, we're gonna rebuild it. Hello. Huh? And I go for everyone else trying to do something without no prayer life. Amen. You cannot survive the powers and the principalities. Amen. You cannot survive the powers and the principalities who are only there to separate you from the love of Christ. That's in one. I will deal with that at 10 o'clock. You cannot have crisis prayer life. Come on. If you think you're going to muster up because some things will hit you without a warning, amen. You cannot. If you can't pray as a single woman, throw marriage out. You don't have a prayer life to be married. A spirit will jump on your husband or wife. Your only role will be a scorekeeper instead of somebody with intervention. A scorekeeper, you want to give me the score. They did this, they did. But why did your prayer life allow that thing to come in? Because you don't have a prayer life, you'll suffer longer than you're supposed to. All right? Without a prayer life, you'll chase after somebody that God said is gone. <laughs> you see, prayer, yeah. The effectual, fervent prayer. Not crisis prayer. That's it. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can't use the struggle to come to prayer at seven. What happened? Your uh, spirit jump on your companion at four in the morning. I bet you get up. I bet you get up. Uh huh? A spirit will jump on your child. Mm hmm. This is all that happened in it. A spirit jumped on somebody's child. And some of y'all, because you don't have a prayer, you can't even see a spirit on somebody's child. You sitting there helping. Oh, Lord. Come on. No discernment. Mm-hmm. Star may not know what it was, but when my daughter posted that out of her, her, her brain just destroyed. Uh, star may not know what it was, but the discernment said, you tripping. That's right. So I hit Star up, I said, you had the right response. Star said, I expect the same thing if it was me. That's right. <laughs> Don't let me build the academy. The love, love him, I love Josh, love Jay. Don't let me build an academy. Don't let me have a mic up and a spirit jump and you sign off. Don't feel sorry for me. Get me. Amen. 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 Don't feel sorry for me. Amen. Yeah. Get it out of your mind that people gonna help you. Your help come from the Lord. You gotta help yourself. Amen. Your prayer life helps you. <laughs> Man, come on. Just, just, just help you.
<laughs> if you need that much attention, come to prayer. God will give you all the attention you want. Amen. God, not me. Amen. You draw nigh to God. He said he'll draw nigh to you. Yes, yes. Oh my God, help you. When you cock your legs and have babies, you forfeit help. Yes, amen. When your boxes hit the floor, they're going to help. Yes. Hmm. Well. <laughs> yes. I gotta help you. Mm. There are people who didn't even have a pitiful husband. They had no husband. Uh-huh. Didn't get no help. Uh-huh. That's right. That's right. And they made it happen. Uh-huh. Do, do we have a different level of man now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, we do. Yes. We got a different level of man now. Oh, come on, come on. Man, he fought apart. He, he, he. Hmm. He keep a breast in his mouth. <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah
We're going to rebuild this one with prayer and fasting. This won't be rebuilt with emotion. And it's going to be a better product. Amen. Won't be no emotion in this. Can I mess with? It can be successful if nobody here buy any. That's right. That's right. You got to know, huh? <laughs> yeah. I got the right person. They coming after you. Give me Matthew chapter 18. I'm going to load y'all up at 10. And then we got five. We got Holy Ghost explosion tonight, right? Right. See if we can get some breast out of people's mouth. And unless it's the breasted one, that's El Sadai. Amen. I'm serious. I'm mad at the baby. You breastfeeding, those are mine. <laughs> run home and play a video game. And you keep scoring worse than before. I don't even know nothing about them. <laughs> Matthew chapter 18. Verse. Hmm. Yeah. This is how you deal with discourse sores. Look at verse 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall oh, trespass. By the time she, my daughter gave some instruction, she recognized the spirit. It was a spirit. But the brand was gone. Prayer is dialogue, right? Mm -hmm. So, during frustration, that's why frustration be like, I need some help. God could have came back and said, I'm your helper. <laughs> and I want you to do thus and thus and thus. Uh, so, when you don't have a prayer, like, you cut off the instruction God was going to give you. He would have told you, do this, do this, do thus and so. I'm sure I Okay? But we're gonna get that spirit back. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. That spirit better have a, gonna have a short party. Cause that baby gonna come back. That baby gonna come back. You ain't gonna recognize her in a year. She gonna come back with power. She gonna quit making excuses. She gonna get past that childhood. She going to whip that devil for killing her. That baby going to come back. You won't even recognize the person, amen, that that enemy trying to destroy. You watch. Huh? She gonna spend the rest of her life because what that spirit was after was those two children. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I guess you have a weak priest who don't understand yeah. and an emotional wife. That's a formula right there. Right. Right. And yet you can bond when that spirit come after those kids. That ain't no time to bond. Wipe those kids out. <laughs> Pressure. Uh, they ain't the only one. They just the one that got that got exposed. Yeah. All your movies. Yeah, 
All your other activities above the word of God will pile up and cost you. Huh? Some of y'all got a path because you are not spiritual. You have crisis everything. <laughs> All right. My daughter Jayelle hit me up. First, first thing is, you got to reach up for help. Some of y'all talk to people who don't know nothing. <laughs> They're carnal. They don't know nothing. That's why I don't like Sunday school. They don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so I told the Bell family, I said, baby, the Bell family on a roll. So what's a devil to do? Amen. I didn't baby her. You can't be baby when you had that kind of shine on your life. Right. I said, go on Tuesday and teach the class. <laughs> know what come, came up against you. Look what you escaped. Your husband was at Conagra. They, and God booting the Walmart. That's right. Huh? Whoa. Yes, sir. <laughs> Whoa. Now, I'm going to help her, what? And it what? They just bought two expensive cars. Within 30, 40 days? And Walmart clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and Walmart decide, uh, 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 long as you don't close your mouth, Lord, what's the name? If the brook key will dry up. Yeah. Yeah. Before you marry anybody, ask that man, if the brook key will dry up, do you know how to get the Zarephath? Hey, amen. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. How a man crying called the brook key with the dried up? Hmm. Hey. Man, if your nine to five ain't getting up, go get you another job. Hey, amen. That's right. That's right. Hello. Up there crying. <laughs> Your nine to five ain't working. That's right. Go get you another one. Amen. Once you get two or three jobs, then you can approach the breast the right way. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. That's the Holy Ghost right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and crying. Hmm. Two couple of jobs. That's right. Man. Where's Sonia? She sleeps somewhere. How many jobs she got? Right. <laughs> Hello. I, I know that's right. Man. Believe that. Two full time jobs. Yes, she took. You crying. You crying. I don't know. I'm gonna, man, you know what? Man. <sighs> Look, write this down. You know why some of y'all have financial problems? First of all, you don't tithe. Let's try that. Number two is you don't work together. And if both of y'all bad with money, guess what? <laughs> Have no concept. Sister Barbara, how much is our Essex house payment? I don't know. How much is Dallas? I don't know. How much is Scottsdale? <laughs> Uh, 
She ain't lying. She don't know. She don't have to know. And you can't handle one damn house. Has no idea. Shoot. Utilities has no idea. Don't even come in her check. She don't open it. Can I get five dollars? Aren't you gonna help me? None. There ain't no conversation. None. Has no idea. Okay. On top of dealing with the IRS, right. criminal investigation. Right. I didn't cuss her out because I had 27 subpoenas, <laughs> summons, right. 27 summons. And you got a car repo and you crying. Look at that Hundreds of thousands of dollars. I didn't come to church balling y'all out either. You didn't even know nothing about it. Didn't know nothing about it. Things after my life. And I wasn't cussing her out. Huh? Sometime maybe had to make my own man, they caught man, man, they was on me. Records, meetings. We talking about some real problems, right? Still pay my tithes and offerings. Huh? Heavy stuff. Oh. Uh, 18 and 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault. If thy brother <coughs> trespass against you, you don't call me. Amen. We clear on that? Amen. You don't call me. That's right. So when you go on to people who you think, who are active, remember they have to have conflict. Uh, and they have problem with leaders. Right. Mm -hmm. right? If a person comes, if they had a problem with Marquis, and they go, and, 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 and now, here you had a problem with Marquis. And you go to them. The first thing they're going to say is, Marquis did the same thing to me. That's a discourse over. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. If you have a problem with Marquis, uh, and you go to who, so they both tell you, uh-uh, what you telling me for? You got to cut people. See, I like stars apart. What you telling me for? 
<laughs> you a discourse, so you gotta call people out. So they won't call you no more. Anytime they keep going back to you, that's because what's on them that seeped into you. Come on, Bishop. That's right. You a discourse over. That's right. Teach. If you got a problem with Marquis, you got a problem with Law, you supposed to go there. What are you calling me for? And hang up. Mm -hmm. Don't call me again, discourse sower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Hello. Well, they telling everybody's business. Yes, you get for telling them. <laughs> <laughs> you Okay, man, man, I just set people up, man, because, you know, until I, but see, I, I can't put them out till I teach this. Playing? Let's read it real slow. If thy brother shall trans, you do not go to other individuals. You go to your brother first. Yes. 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 Oh, ain't that right? That's what it says. So, therefore, the discourse saw who fake like they're a spiritual activist, they die because they don't have nobody to talk to. Then you watch with their mouth open. You got a problem with Marquis, you are the Marquis. Oh, it was a misunderstanding. I was thinking about something Arnaz said. I love you. Then you find out, oh man, look at that devil. Look at that devil. I don't even hear about it. Hello. Sometimes I hear stuff about, but I, my mature people, I hear about it later. Oh, we had a problem. We worked it out. Right. They just informing me that they, we, it's, it never comes to me. Anytime you bring up years ago, and man, somebody tell me, uh, they, have me yeah, they did the same thing to me. You, you were a discourse shower. You're supposed to handle that. You find out what you dislike in them is what's in you. Right. <laughs> you go right to it, and then you, sometimes you find out they weren't even thinking about you. <laughs> you find out they weren't even thinking about you. Okay. <laughs> you find out, amen, that they love you. <laughs> you find out, oh, thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You find out mm -hmm. that person love you. Mm -hmm. That person been praying for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That person. Wow. How y'all like that? Right. You find out that person is shocked. You're my inspiration. Wow. Look at that devil. Okay. See, all Satan really wants is for you to become something that God hates. That's right. Yeah. And have you looking at people. Amen. Amen. And you can miss all the instruction. You can have something in your body. And God will say, go to Marquise and let her lay hand. But you can't go to her because you got an all against her. And now the thing in you metastasizes. <laughs> I guarantee you, somebody going to shut down a discourse over. Yes. Come to me with something else again. And I'm not coming to you with nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going straight to that person. Right? Watch this. Go and tell him his fault between thee and him. Look at the other word. Alone. Alone. That's right. Alone. Mm hmm Alone. Right. Watch this now. And some people, their body of work, they don't love you so much. They can't tell you nothing about no Wilson family. I don't want to hear it. If I have a, a disagreement with Tim and Michelle, I'm going to them. You can't even get in this party. They done show me some love and they'll feed me. I don't even want to. Yep, yep. I go straight to them. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 
Is this the Bible? Alone! I saw how they did you, but did you see the Lord? Shut up, discord sower. Did you see the Lord? Now, watch it. Are we in the Bible? Mm -hmm. Go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. Is that misunderstanding? First of all, you can't tell Skylar nothing about Lana. She done fed him too much. You just wasting your time. <laughs> okay, what she do? She could be a, a FBI's most wanted. He said she didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't do it. <laughs> hey, her picture could be pasted all over the place. I don't know. That's just somebody look like her. That's photoshopped. <laughs> Y'all hear me? I Photoshop. Okay? You go right to that person. Look at verse 16. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Go straight to him. Help you to move instantly. Huh? You know what it is? You. You don't see who has to help you later on. That's right. it. Come on. All right. You don't see that. Right. Huh? You know what the beauty is of that? If one of these kids can't hear, I don't care how, they're a great parent, but that devil don't care. If that devil won't area that bad, then a line of it, if, if, that, if that devil blocks areas so she can't hear Tim and Michelle, here come a lot of amen and say, oh no, you still don't get away. You understand that? And you gonna have conflict. It's not the conflict, it's what you do with it. Huh? It's not the kind. You're going to have conflict. Mm -hmm. Okay? Wow. Watch this now. Look at verse 16. But if he will not hear thee. He won't hear thee. That's different. Read. Then take with thee one or two more. Watch this now. Even then, okay, you find out. Okay, look, me and Marquis, we got a problem. You go to Marquis, I can use Marquis because she ain't never in nothing. She too busy, nothing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she like, <laughs> I don't even know what he's talking about this, but <laughs> look on there, he happy, like, um, what, what, what's he talking about? Okay. <laughs> 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 And I just mess it up with those dresses. That just, oh my God. Oh. Look, at, look, just look at you like, oh yeah. We were late again today, cuz. That's why I use her, she never involved. And it's, it's always interesting. Anytime you see the same person's name keep coming up, it's them. Right. Cause most people got to be problems to be centering their life around. It's, it's, it's them. Right. Because of internal conflict and turmoil. So you go to Marquis, Marquis like, Psh. well then you go get, you don't go get two people who don't like Marquis. <laughs> or who jealous of Marquis. Right, right. Who looking for an opportunity. Huh? Mm. If I told y'all how good of a lift, y'all think I'm a good talker. Me and my sister Pastor, we talk about stuff that you don't think we see or I hear. She be cracking up. Like, they just really think that I be listening. And then when I don't, I watch. <laughs> I 
I just so when when this you know we go shopping. She has these banging just 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 wears these dresses, trying to just build my nursery back up. Anyway. <laughs> And so I was sharing with somebody real, because I'm real casual about it. I'm real slick. I'm like, I'm in your, I'm in your beauty supply store. I relax your stuff right here. I had a stuff laying down, gelled down with a twist. I make folk think you got baby hair back there. That's right. And your stuff been battling for years. I make a baby hair. They're fine. <laughs> so I say, look at my daughter. She's wearing that dress. Person, whole expression changed, said, oh yeah, because she had low self-esteem. Oh my God. So you know me, I don't unjail right away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't unjail. I just step back. <laughs> huh? Yeah. I'm gonna relax you some more. That's right. That's right. What the hell low self-esteem got to do with that banging dress on that child? Amen. Yeah. If she did, we left it at the counter. <laughs> you feel me? I said, we at the counter. I'm real good. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm so good, I'll even watch your overplay. <laughs> overplay. <laughs> good training here. I'm taking as long as I want to. Amen. Since it's warmed up. Take one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. So, so in other words, we drain two people. Not me. Not me. I ain't in this yet. I'm with my hungry babies at Bonefish. Don't call me with that. Okay. Because if you distract me, they're allowed to reorder. <laughs> you think I'm lying. They reorder. My first group, they just order once. Not this group. If I don't have to show up down there, we need something else on the menu. <laughs> so I got to pay attention. <laughs> like, I'm lying, man. I don't see how she do it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> wow. So you bring 200 people and go, hey, but why, you, why won't you hear her? Well, why? Why? Marquis, you bring 12 people that love you. What's wrong with you? As Star said, you could be tripping. Yes. See, if you're going to bring somebody who has a power, Marquis, you, that's just gasoline. Yeah, buddy. I told you she was like that. She did me the same way. They always, she always. <laughs> that's a discourse over. No, holy ghost. <laughs> okay? It's a discourse over. That's wrong. Two or three witnesses. Two fine people that look, that like, and, and usually they'll be like, huh? Oh, uh, it's just a misunderstanding. Sure, come on. Mm -hmm. Anytime you're like, what? She did what? Come on, let's get, that ain't the one. Say, no, 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 you, you, you don't. Yeah, you stay right there. <laughs> That's T. They need to you throw down. You no, no, they want that. They want to be. They want what's on them, and they're so glad for an opportunity. Right. Okay, I watch all that old stuff. All right, two or three people that love them. Do y'all know this is heavy? You know Moses tried that? Yeah. With, with, with some real rebels. Mm -hmm. He's like, you know what? God about to kill these people. He said, you know what, Carl? Byron, Dathan, you know the other dude, his wife took care of him. 
Right. He had no strength to rebel. <laughs> rebel. He was out. He was sleepy. <laughs> she kicked the chemical off. Did I go into detail? <laughs> That's why his name ain't that. He said, you know what? Hey, y'all don't want to hear me? Really because Cora thought that he should have been the high priest. That's deep Hebrew. Mm -hmm. So he always had a problem with Moses. He never got over the fact that God, that Moses had killed a person and that God was now going to reestablish him 40 years later. Mm -hmm. So he had a problem with that. A lot of people have a problem with people because that, that what is on them, it should be mine. That should be me. Right, yeah. Okay? <clears throat> so you don't know what discourse story is. So those, those three things, past injuries. Mm-hmm. All right, what I say? Y'all write them down? Yeah. Present suspicion <laughs> and future insecurities. From, from the beginning, what are they? Past. 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 The minute you hear somebody say, they did me, click. Mm -hmm. Past. They who? Mm -hmm. Click. I want click. Don't downshift. Well, because you keep. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Give me a chance to say keep, something. Keep it click. Yep. Something wrong with your phone or something wrong with your spirit. Yep. I hung up on you. Right. Nothing wrong with my phone. Right. My bill paid. Okay. What's the second one? Present suspicion. Present suspicion. See, I told you. Right. Mm. Mm. Did nobody tell you a bit? Ray Charles can see y'all ain't getting along. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. That ain't deep. <laughs> deep. If, if Glenda's praying and going through the, the Glenda Romics and Dr. Holt is sitting in the balcony, hell, what, what do we expect? <laughs> Somehow that didn't reach him. It's not deep. Okay. There's something to be said by having problems and nobody in the church know. I'm so sick of people trying to get my attention. Okay. I know that's right. Live holy. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Thank and you, I'm God. I'm one person. Thank you, God. I'm trying to get on to the next Thank generation. You. That's right. That's Amen. It. That's it. Amen. 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 Man, my hair ain't black no more. Ain't that enough for you? <laughs> I can have my stuff shellacked or dripping. <laughs> Man, y'all, y'all ain't got a, y'all ain't got a gray hair in sight. Red, look, I hear red. All right, I'm gonna join y'all. Have my stuff all. Come on now. Get along with one another. Yeah. Now I come in in verse 17. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. Now don't, but, don't, don't. And I, now, now that I've talked, and I'm not responsible, who ain't here? Watch what happened. Because uh, you never can tell. With this prayer, we're going to kick all this persecution that's coming, people, wow. <clears throat> right. And other stuff that's coming, yeah, man, you never can. You don't know what is coming your way. Yeah. And you're going to need somebody in your role to intercede for you. You don't know what's coming your way. You have no idea. Huh? 
If the Durango and the Charger are gone before Christmas, I expect them to come in and say, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Amen. Let's move on to the next blessing. Amen. Our salvation wasn't tied in. Yes, we thank God. Amen. But that could be a greater test for a greater blessing. Amen. Which means they'll never have another Durango in a Charger. Now it's an Aston Martin and a Hellcat. Amen. Anytime you pass a test. Anytime you pass a test. See why you got to have a right campaign or somebody tripping. We work together. Our finances. So you ain't got it like me, I, and I do it with joy. Jesus. Where's my mail? She'll open it. Like, that's my mail. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Lord. Ain't no what you gonna help me on this this month? Yeah. Come on now. She too old to grow, grow a third breast. <laughs> what you gonna, you gonna help me this month? <laughs> I know you gonna help me on this one. <laughs> Can I get a hundred on this one? And fit. The flip side of that is, uh, I need you to drop me off. I gotta go get up. I need to go to the dealership. Just went and picked it up. No questions, no nothing. Oh, I can't keep up with what you got. Don't have to. Oh, Ain't necessary. No problems. You understand? No problem. Plus, here, here. I made those bills. Amen. That don't bother me. I don't. I don't. I mean, we have separate accounts. We don't. I don't. We don't crash each other's checking account. I know she got a little stash. I had to get into that one time, cause <laughs> <laughs> no, cause I, I don't want to. I want. I don't want to break no hundreds. <laughs> So if I got, if I, I don't like to break hundreds. Yeah. Look, Mary, I ain't trying to look married. You know what? I ain't trying to break no hundreds. So she, she, you put your head down, go get spiritual again. So I ain't trying, I, you know, you know, she keep a little, little bitty money, little twenties and stuff. Like, you know, let me go and borrow some of that, and I put it back in there. <laughs> I don't like to, I, no, I don't like to break hundreds. Okay, because it bothers me. Because you break it. Yeah. Right. You know, but 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 but, but all that. Arguing every month. You don't know that the other companion is wanted in four states over a check scheme. <laughs> you have no idea, huh? Uh, real talk. I don't know what to do with a priest who ain't trying to progress his family. When I had to stop. This, this, this boy that came in, a young man. You know, he wanted to propose. He didn't come up so far. <laughs> yes. He wanted to propose. See, that's why you can't pass her. You're like, oh, see? See? She don't know, see? He's serious. Man. She can't never pass to you. <laughs> he is serious. <laughs> that's right, right, right. <laughs> He wanted to propose to, he's so ready to, well, she is a banger. He wanted to propose next month in front of the church. Mm -hmm. I ain't studying y'all. I know that's right. <laughs> but my point is, and I'm, I stay on him. And I told him no, some other things he's, I want to see how he handles. I can't have him collapse on that little girl. Right. I, I can't have him collapse. I can't have it. I'm too old for that. One of my young men collapsing. Can't have him collapsing. They gonna run into something, cause what's a devil to do? I want him to embrace it, just like he carried all that molestation. I want him to say, if I made it through that, amen, I got a Lexi poo. Woo! That's my reward for yeah. going, shoot, yeah. I'm not collapsing. Yeah.
How many of y'all don't want to see another collapsed man again in your life? But I had to admire that the way I come with it, he's like, I can we can handle that. Oh, y'all know that. Oh, huh? I have to admire that. You can't marry nobody you ain't truthful. It's you two against the world. If you can't disclose that, you ain't got no marriage. That's right. You be destroyed. Yes. Marriage is not for immature people. Right. I don't want him pouting or talking bad to her because he having a bad day. I don't want him flunking a test and cussing her out and I don't know why I got married. That's a weak man. Sometimes we go out, he brings, I see, I see something on him. He brings his homework out to old Chicago. He be reading. Come on now. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I'm falling apart. Let me look up. Quit praying and asking God to send those weak men back. self-esteem huh it's human to be hurt but I got God didn't I teach you to have God before you got in any relationship huh amen God she would pass out if I waited on her to come to church. It's a race. I need to be here. It's nothing to do with her. She said something kind of like, I'm on a schedule. I grade myself. Right, right, amen. Amen. It's nothing to do with her. I don't wait till she comes and say, I, I'm see, I can't wait till she comes so we can argue. When I give her, I just want to say something bad to her. You gotta be kidding. You gotta do that. And we weren't, we didn't have no teaching, we weren't even friends. So I'm not interested in you abusing that young lady verbally later on. I want you to marinate in how long it's taking to get this sign off. So when you get in the presence of that stunner, it be you and her against the world. And you gonna teach. Come here, stand up. <laughs> Amen. 
you think I'm hard, he going to teach harder than me because he survived me. So when he comes out and there's a day to ride, He got to protect Mia and Tasha. So when a young man come out, he's like, uh-uh, I watched them grow up, amen. I'm going to do that young man like my pastor did me. You don't sit there. Somebody got to be able to take it. Hallelujah. He's taking it. Now I'm back on topic. Verse 17. I got too much on me. Get it off. Verse 17. And if he shall neglect now, to hear them. You got somebody don't want to hear nobody? Bring them to me. When you bring them to me and you don't follow this, it's going to be the shortest conference ever. Y'all know when I stand up to me, the counseling's over, right? And if I never sit down, I mean, hurry up. I'm sorry start over again. If we talking and I stand up, you stand up. If we talking and I never sit down, hurry up. Na 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 na. Because I done brought a word you didn't think was important. Now it's on my time. My time is important. I used to bring strays in there. <laughs> no, she did. She was hurt. She brought strays. She's honest. She used to bring strays in there. I mean, man, that's why my stuff ain't. <laughs> you understand? Read, read 17 again so we can. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an heathen. When it said tell him to the church, guess what they're talking about? You. Me, the right. angel of the church. Right. According to Revelation. Right. Mm -hmm. It's a done deal. Then I get to spit it back to them. If I want to, if I'm standing. No. So-and-so took you, came to you, you don't want to hear. So they brought two other people that love you. See, ain't never personal. And you don't want to hear them. Because you're going to bypass them and come to me. All I'm going to tell you is there's Eagle's Nest, there's Ambassador Worship Center. There, I'm literally going to have a piece of paper. Thank you. Get, I need three churches there. Bishop Foster's church. I want about a hundred copies of those made. So when you come to me, I'm like, here. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and as a publican. That's the Bible. Because we cannot afford that spirit of discord in the house of God. Amen. We can't afford people not looking at leadership because you done said something about it. We can't have you dissected. Amen. Amen. I already let people kill my business one time. They just fell off the earth. One time. You hurt everybody. Everybody. They get to be rebuilt through prayer. And husband, you owe her an apology. She never 
let's flip it. Let's say it was you or her. When you have the two right people, it can never get that far gone. When you're addressing spirits. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You got to take walks and talk. Because people's childhood will run their life. Amen. <clears throat> childhood. That's why you talk, 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 talk. It took years to get KT out of that basement to think he deserved anything. Right. And he's still in all the way there. But he got a bad house. <laughs> I'm, I'm being, for years. Years. Here's what he deserved, just to show you. He deserved to go get him. Look at his wife. Look at her. He deserves to go get him a brand new car today. Amen. He deserves. He nurtured that great woman when she was sick. Bo, he did not cuss her out and flip on her. He nurtured her. She was flat on her back. They work together. They got a bad house. And he don't think he deserve a new car. He deserve a new car. There's only one KT Simpson in the world, and that's him. His childhood did it to him. His childhood. He was crying in his childhood. They wouldn't let him study. Spirits. He had to sneak the study. He don't think it is her. I don't think he deserve it. He didn't ask for those parents. All his life. But they were stepping on Crystal's husband. Come on, come on, come on. She went from making 35000 to up at six figures because of his love. And no time did he ever. And he don't deserve a new car. Her a new life, huh? She wanted to kill her stepfather. But he don't deserve a new car. Dr. Garnett, she ain't here. Prayed for him and I fell out. Somebody tipped the hospital floor. Only person ever seen me like that is Dr. Gunn. Is praying for him. He was urinating glass, slivers of glass, crystallized urine, like slivers of glass. He don't deserve, but even in his sickness and death's door, he didn't put her down. He was sick. He was dying. But he got up. Cause when two people work together, hey man, ain't no devil gonna kill both people. Not when you know God. How many of y'all know God? Ain't no way in the world you both know God. Yeah. 
Got to teach his grandson. He got the house. That took years. Go get it. He don't like cars like me. Don't have to. But go get yourself a new car. Let's collect our tithes and offerings.